The opponent shoe is designed so that it could be either glued on or nailed on. Nailing opponent shoes is just like nailing conventional shoes. No special tools are required. And while gluing to avoid nail damage is a nice ideal, in practice it should not be a top priority to avoid nails. Hoof practitioners deal with many issues of the hoof, but few of these issues are actually caused by nails. The opponent shoe utilizes a stiff, gray-colored polyurethane where the nails go, and small flexible steel stiffeners are embedded inside the shoe, as seen in this radiograph. This is not so different from human footwear, that often contains various materials and stiffeners. These small, flexible metal stiffeners help make a pony shoe the best nailing flexible shoe on the market. The rear of the shoe will not flip-flop away from the heel, and clenches will not wiggle or open even after six weeks on the horse. As usual, we applied our packing to the foot prior to nailing on the shoe. Unlike a metal shoe, which can be bent to bring the nail hole over the white line, in a polyurethane shoe, the nail hole must have some radial width, so exact placement can be selected by the farrier. Drive the nail in, and stop when the head of the nail is even with the top of the tread. Don't go further quite yet. Clip or twist off the nail as usual. Now, when you block the nail, just tilt the hammer slightly, and tap the nail a bit further down. This is why you left it at tread level earlier. When using clenchers, since the nail head won't be secured, you have to take care not to push the nail back out. Rather than pushing, as the red arrows indicate, start by applying a bit of sideways force, as this arrow shows, and complete the clench. Clenches can be finished as you prefer. The choice of nail type is not that important. You can probably use your favorite nail. But we prefer a nail with a slightly larger head and a slightly longer shank. These are the nails we normally use. When the head of the nail seats down into the shoe, it locks into position. Clench and finish as you normally do. We recommend using six to eight nails and the shoe fit tight to the hoof.